Hey, good morning everybody. Happy Saturday. I am sitting here on my front porch in this gorgeous sunny October day. It is 75 degrees with clear blue skies. Um, and I am here with my trusty companion, Mr. Henry. He's an outside baby. I'll tell you more about him in a different video and what I have learned from him over the past few months. But <clears throat> I really feel compelled to give a channeled message today. I have been having some very intense dreams and I may close my eyes during this message to let messages come through. Um, these moments have been happening a lot more like in the past few months where I get messages and I've been really scared about sharing my gift. Um, something happens when I close my eyes. I see a whole different world and my left ear starts ringing and I get channeled messages. but. I was going to wait to post this for next week, but Spirit says that this message is urgent for somebody. Um, so be patient while I gather my thoughts um, because somebody's really needing this. Something, something so huge is on the brink of happening. Something wonderful, huge, like remarkable like in like a quantum leap and you've known this you've known this for a few months um some of you many of you who w with whom this resonates have been hanging on by a thread and i don't know what your situation is it could be whether it's in an abusive marriage or relationship or a job that you were miserable in and you've been seeking an answer as far as a lead out or wondering if you need to ride through the storm. For some of you, you have felt blocked and bound with finances and it doesn't seem to matter what you do or how much you do it or um, how hard you work or all the stuff. It just seems like nothing seems to move and you are just hanging on by the thread with the weight of, I can't do this anymore. Like I just can't do this anymore. Like it's become so heavy to the point of it really impeding on your overall mental health and your well-being. Wondering if everything that you thought you believed in, um, remaining in hope that things are going to change. You've had people across your path. You've had so many signs and synchronicities that something huge is about to change and it's going to come in like a night and day different kind of life. And that that word you've had people confirm it random strangers maybe you listen to oracle card readings or tarot whatever it is you'll often many of you have also had the confirmation from many different sources and you thought this change would have happened by now and you don't understand and instead of it not only not happening yet you seem to get another tower another curveball and the weight just seems to get heavier to the point where you just feel like you are abandoned you feel like you are forgotten you wonder if this is just your lot in life to carry this heavy shit and you're just tired of it all. Um, maybe even to the point of being in such a dark mental space that you're ashamed of even telling anyone that other people would have no clue you've even been in that dark mental space to the point of even thinking about exiting life, regardless of how many people it would impact um, because of the weight that you carry every day and keep pasting on a smile and keep trying and keep clinging the tears that you have cried behind closed doors um some of you have even screamed bloody murder in a two or five minute time period that you do have the house to yourself for those of you who live with roommates or um for those of you who live with roommates or who have families and kids and all this stuff and i just want to tell you this is confirmation that your change is coming Your change is coming and you're not forgotten. You're not doomed. Your lot in life is not to suffer. Things are being aligned for your highest and best purpose and path in ways beyond what your mind can even imagine. And more will make sense later with that once you get to the other side of things. Um, you're exactly where you need to be right now with everything the way that it is, and it's to teach you something. 
Only you know that. Only you know what that thing is. Um, another big part of this, um, intuitively, because I did have a dream last night, and this kind of all goes, hey, I got an so Everything, that dream that I had and the message that was th that were coming through today as the day unfolded and the urgency became greater to share this message, it is the answer that's coming is not going to be how you remotely imagined it. So it's going to be important that you open your mind. It's going to come through a scenario or a situation. The biggest, so you're going to say, well, then how, but how do I know? How do I, you know, if I do the same thing every day or have the same routine, blah, blah. The key to things is listening to your own intuition because our logical mind robs us of a lot. It's listening, learning how to listen to your intuition. Another part of this intuitive message is that you're going to have a false lead. You're going to have an answer that kind of suddenly comes that you go, oh, well, this must be it all of a sudden. It's what makes sense from the logical mind, but it's a false lead. So don't jump at the first thing that comes just because it is a way out to have to change. Sit with it. There's nothing more important than learning how to believe in your own self and learning how to connect to your own inner voice and your own intuition. That is our connection to our higher self. That is our higher self. And that's a direct connection to the divine. And it's always leading us. And it's not in a way that makes sense to the logical mind. That's why it's important to listen, to learn to listen and trust that. And you'll know that when this false offer comes in or this false lead, something about it, the logical mind's going to go, oh, well, that's it. That's going to be the step out or the way out. I promise you. If this message is for you, you're going to know that it is for you. It's not going to be for everyone, okay? I promise you that if you receive the offer or the proposition or the opportunity, sit with it. Sit with it for 24 hours before just making a, a, a knee-jerk reaction decision. Um, and you will have clear and direct um, clarity about the truth behind it. Something about it is just not going to feel completely right. Even though your logical mind's going to go, are you sure? Like, are you positive that, you know, you want to turn this down? Because if you turn it down or, you know, maybe you'll miss the bus and you have to wait another fucking year of going through all this shit, but you won't. This is confirmation for somebody out there that you will not. Um, what was the other part of the message that I was supposed to share? going to come in a way that you least imagine and everything can change in the twinkling of an eye as well to be very mindful of your thoughts your attitude even though I can understand that the past year that I've been through I'll be sharing more about that soon but realizing that my only responsibility in all of this is learning how to change my attitude about things. It was triggering as fuck for me to receive that message at first. Like, change my attitude. You know, let me count the long list of these injustices. Like, why do I need to change my attitude? You know, I have a right to feel how I feel. And yes, I've sat with those parts of myself and I've acknowledged, like, and I've sat with those parts of myself that needed a lot of love that have been strangling, struggling with anger and depression and feeling also a lot of the things I have just shared have been also things that I've conquered the past year. Um, and a lot of times the messages that I get are just as much for me as for the people that need them. <clears throat> I just keep hearing that it's going to come in the way that you need that it's going to come in the it just keeps it's been on replay in my mind ever since I woke up this morning is it's going to come in the way that you least expect it and everything's about to change in the twinkling of an eye just don't quit and don't be don't be when you start your day and this is another thing that's been very important is before you go to bed at night it's important to close out of all the energies of the day make peace with everything that happened that day Trust it's all working out in your highest good. You don't have to understand everything all the time. Make peace with it. That's your power. 
Your peace is your power and your power is your peace. Ships come in on a smooth, calm sea. What does that mean? The answers that you're seeking come in when everything is calm. So get to a place of peace and that's your power. No matter what is going, you have an infinite well of peace inside of you, no matter what is going on on the outside of you, but it's up to you to connect to it. It's up to you to make that sacred space in your life and turn the phones off and turn the TV off. I don't care if you live in a house of 10 people, there's gotta be a closet somewhere that you can pull all that shit out of and go hide yourself in it and shut the door. And it's up to you to set those boundaries around yourself. Um, to get to a place of peace and that is yours to access that doesn't depend on anything else that's yours and you have access to it it's infinite and when you're in that a monarch butterfly just flew right <laughs> right in front of me and went up on top of the roof but is having that time at night because whatever you, you wake up with, whatever you go to bed with, like you need to learn how to be in complete, like, like really be aware of your emotional state. And I've learned this through my own experience that I wake up with whatever I go to bed with. So if I don't make peace with things, it doesn't mean gaslight yourself that everything's fine when it needed, it's not. I mean, there's a lot of shit that's really hard to deal with in life, but it's okay. Well, I will deal with those things later. I'm going to be in a state of peace as a whole inside of my being. And also having that same sacred time first thing in the morning to set the emotional set point of your day. And it's also your vibrational frequency that you're setting up for the day. And having that time in the morning, opening yourself up for the infinity of possibilities that could happen. Because if you always do everything on repeat, every day and you're an autopilot like you're you're numb like you're not going to hear you're deaf to something new coming in or a random opportunity and you know if you're in this mindset of well I always take a left there and I always do this and I take the same route to work or I always walk on the same streets and I always do this and this is just how I am and it's a structure you also have to be flexible to doing things a different way because that allows these syn synchronicities to happen it allows and some of you oh I just got this some of you this is going to happen with Like, even if it is in that structured thing that you do all day, every day on repeat for years, being open to new things happening, even in that routine, let's say, let's say you always stop at 7-Eleven every single day on your way to work and you get your, whatever it is that you get, a breakfast sandwich, a pack of smokes, a energy drink, a coffee, a newspaper, whatever it is, something's going to happen. Like it's like a word from a, through a stranger. And I'm just hearing this. Really be aware and have your spirit open. Have your spirit open. Like a word is just going to come through. Something, someone this week. And you're going to know. And this is why it's important to learn how to listen to your intuition. Because you know what those things feel like. For me, it's like a ping, ping. Hey, that was it. There's something to that. Like it just lets me know. I don't know how to explain it. But I think that's the biggest word. Don't quit. I, in my dreams... It was just like this person who was just gasping for breath and is being called to do something just huge, like just go into the unknown and do something really big, make a big change and like something huge shifting. I'm talking like from, from where you are now to having an entirely different life. Like it almost looks like literally a different lifetime, a different person. And some of you, you've been having these visions of your own self. And you wonder, how do I get there from here? <laughs> and the power is within you to just also surrender your process. You know, are you willing to make changes? Are you willing to think about things a little differently? You know, maybe your own biases hold your, maybe your own biases and your own prejudice and your own racism or your own sexism is what's blocking your blessing. For some of you, it might be a blessing that's going to come through someone who is, supports a different political party than you do, and you're not going to hear a fucking thing that person has to say because that divide is there for both of you because of it's chosen on both of your sides because of who they choose to vote for or whatever. And like God is so much bigger than all of that in this grand scheme of things. All of that is set into place to divide us. It's it's propaganda. It's matrix propaganda. Um, and I know this message is for me as well is. 
holding on to resentment and bitterness towards someone for wrongdoing. And whereas that's totally justified, that for me has been blocking a blessing from coming into my life because you never know who God's going to use for a blessing to come through. Like you have no idea that someone may be literally holding a check for $100,000 in their hands or $10 million in their hands from who knows, an inheritance, maybe a huge win. Who knows? The, the, the ways are infinite. And they're literally have been sitting on the edge of their couch for weeks and months wanting to give you a blessing because they feel called to it and they're worried about how to approach you because they know that they maybe fuck some things up and they don't know how to approach you and literally you can't you have no idea because you're over here going oh, oh that person better not ever come to me without x y and z they better not ever contact me again i can tell you that this side and the other and literally you getting the lessons from it and making peace with it inside of your own soul and just choosing to release the energy that's literally blocking you from a huge blessing coming through that person. Like huge. Like there's just some examples. Like it comes in ways that we have no idea. And that's it for now, I believe. Um, no, I definitely have more, but as far as this specific message, um, I do have a different message um, that I wanna share in a different video. I'll be back.